If you've been too busy to keep up with this week's headlines, we've got them here for you. I'm Samantha with GTV and you're watching this week's Roundup. The 81st NFL Draft aired on Thursday just a few minutes prior to a coincidental hack on Laramie Tunsil's Twitter account. A video of what appears to be Tunsil smoking marijuana out of a gas mask was uploaded to his account and was removed shortly after. Tunsil was selected by the Miami Dolphins and was the 13th pick of the night. The Minneapolis City Council approved an $800 million plan to repair the city's streets and renovate its parks. The plan will begin in 2017 when the city will receive $33 million each year for the construction. An Oklahoma court sparked controversy after ruling that oral sex is not considered rape if the person is intoxicated or unconscious. The decision came after allegations that a 17-year-old boy sexually assaulted a 16-year-old after giving her a ride home. The girl had a blood alcohol level of 0.34 and said she has no memory of getting home that night. The city of Cleveland has reached a $6 million settlement with the family of Tamir Rice in an effort to settle a civil rights lawsuit. Rice was 12 years old when he was shot and killed by a police officer back in 2014. Law enforcement officials said prescription opioid medication was found at Prince's home in Chanhassen, Minnesota, after he passed away last Thursday. So far, there's been no indication on the source of the prescription, and investigators are awaiting the results of the toxicology reports. 50 people were killed by an airstrike on a pediatric hospital in Syria. U.S. officials say the attack was most likely caused by the Syrian government. Thanks for watching this week's Roundup. Be sure to check back every Sunday to get the latest headlines.